In this video, I will show you how to uh, use uh, forms in Access to manage uh, a database. In this case, we will be focusing on our purchase database where we have four tables invoice, purchase, book, and publisher tables. And as you'll remember, purchase a bridge entity here. And therefore, we're going to focus on that one later. First, we'd like to focus on uh, other three tables. And let's start from the publisher side because uh, there's a one to many relationship between publisher and book. and you may want to have the publishers first because whenever we like to enter a new book we need to define a publisher first so let's start focus on the publisher first then we'll uh, uh, work on book and we'll switch to invoice and uh, finally we'll focus on the purchase table okay let's close the relationships uh, let's see yes and let's go to a publisher table here's a table and we have publisher ID and publisher name as our entities, uh, as our uh, attributes. So while your publisher is selected, you can go to Create tab and click this form option, which is going to, which is an auto form. Basically, it will create a form based on this publisher table. So I click on it, and yes, we have a publisher table. A publisher form is created, where it automatically also create a. Uh, sub form where you can see the books associated with this publisher which is fine uh, so we have publisher ID and publisher name here okay so this is our first form uh, here you can add new publishers if you want to basically you can uh, in the bottom here you can click this uh, new blank record option here with arrow and asterisk sign next to it where you can add new publisher ID. In this case, publisher ID set the auto number, so that's why you're seeing this new option here, so you don't have to specify it, but you can specify a publisher name. So for that, you need to go to actually view, and let's enter Wiley. And for Wiley, there are no books associated yet. So when you hit tab, and basically it's entered. Now you can browse all of your records, so basically that's what we have. And you can always go to design view here to adjust the look and feel of your form. So we can make it a little bit reduce the width so that it would fit in the screen. So you can make these kind of adjustments. And this subform that you see is actually it's not a kind of subform. It's a uh, just form. It kind of like subform, but it's not a uh, subform that you would uh, create. Uh, it can stay or it doesn't have to stay. It's up to you in the end. But it can be like this, so you can see all the books associated with this publisher. And you can, uh, for example, you might have this. In this case, we have six publisher, but it may be kind of a little bit cumbersome to come down here and to click uh, this new. Uh, record option what you might do instead you can go to layout view and let's move this footer a little bit down and lower this subform down here oh, because subform is part of uh, this uh, here what you can do is you can add uh, a button so if you look at here under design tab you can see uh, a button option okay Let's place this button here first, and then you'll, you're given some options here. Record navigation, uh, so you have these options, but we like to do some uh, uh, add new records. So we like to use this form to add new records. Click next, and let's use text option. Let's say add new publisher. Finish, and you can go to view how this form looks like. So rather than coming down here, you know, trying to locate this little uh, option, you can always click here, then you can add a uh, new publisher if you want to. And let's say, so like a new publisher name, FSG. So basically, now we have added new record here. So 
we have these publishers. Then once you're done, make sure you save your form. They said this is publisher entry form. Okay. Now we create our publisher entry form. Let's close this form. The next one is we are on. You might recall now we are going to switch to book table. So let's go to book table. While book table is selected, you can again click create and form. Now we have this uh, auto form created where we have uh, uh, our book uh, attributes, book ISBN, book title, price, uh, publisher ID, quantity in hand information, and all the invoice associated with this book. Let's go to design view to change the look and feel of this form. So everything would fit in the screen. Other thing is, in this case, I don't want to have this sub form. Let's get rid of this one because we like to enter uh, book information here. And look at let's look at the form. It is nice, and you can you know switch through the records here. If need be, you can edit, for example. From start to let's say end. That's how you can add re uh, edit records through this form. Uh, one thing interesting here is you know when you're adding new books to enter to specify the publisher information for this book, it's going to be a little difficult to remember all these publisher IDs. In this case, we have like six, seven publisher ID, but assuming you like you would have like hundreds of publisher names, that would be, it would be difficult. Uh, wouldn't it be nice to have some sort of drop down list here where we could select the publisher name? So that's what we are going to do. Let's go to design view. And what we are going to do is let's delete, get rid of this form, uh, this uh, uh, text box here for publisher ID. Now we deleted that one. And again, go to your design tab and look for an option called combo box. Click on combo box, place it anywhere here, it doesn't matter at this at, in the beginning. And now you will be given an option to, you need to decide how you're going to use this combo form, combo, uh, combo box. You want to get values from another table or query. Uh, in this case, that's what we want. We want to use this uh, combo box to get values from another table or query. So in this case, we are going to get the values from another table. And that table is a publisher table and let's get both of them because sometimes publisher names might be the same so you may want to see the publisher ID next and you like to sort them by actual publisher name it will be easier to go through the list and you can hide the key column just so you can see the publisher name or you may choose to display both of them but let's choose publisher name uh, hide, let's hide the key column for this, for this uh, example next and in this case, once an option is selected from that list, you want that information recorded in the publisher ID field in book table so that the form would know where to store that information next. And let's give it a name, this one, let's go, this is, this is form uh, box name, let's say pub name, finish. And then you can actually place it here, then it will automatically extend. And you can actually choose to say this is pub name, you can say publisher name. And you can, basically, these are labels, so it doesn't really matter. You can have uh, white spaces here. And say quantity in hand. Okay. And late, uh, lastly, what we can do is we can add some. Uh, Actually, first check our form. So even as you're going through like this, you see, for example, uh, you may notice you made a, you have made a mistake. This book actually is not uh, from this publisher. You can select Neil Schumann and continue. If you go back, you can see now it's Neil Schumann. So it's much easier to add book records this way than you know uh, sifting through the publisher ID. Uh, we can uh, use again. Uh, sometimes you may need that new publishers. For them, you may not say, "Oh, I, you don't have the publisher information here." So, rather than you know going here and opening that form, you can add a button here too, 
and same thing for adding new book records so we can uh, go to design view and we can add new button here let's say call it. first one is record operation uh, oh, record navigation we like to a uh, form operation we like to open a new uh, different form so it's going to open a form and it's going to open publish or empty form since we have only one form at this point so it picks up automatically and open the form and show all the records so that's what we like to do and let's use a text one picture is not that good at this point open publisher entry form next and we don't have to name this one so it's fine so we have publisher entry form and let's add another button to add new book record this time it's going to be record operation add new record so that they would look nice now we have our form ready let's view it let's save it book entry form okay so if I click open publisher entry form then I will get the publisher form then if I say add new publisher then I get a new publisher here and add a new book record then I would add new book record information and I can select the publisher for that book Let's come up with a new one. I'm just making these numbers up. Uh, red. Let's say this is $25. Publisher name, let's pick Wiley. Quantity and 5. And you can click Add New Book Record again. Then that record has been added, so you can go back and see that record here. Uh, then you may notice you ha you made a mistake with the publisher name. You can always change something else, and it's changed. And you can look at the book table to see that information here. This is publisher ID seven, not the name here actually in the book table. But if you look at the publisher table, you can see seven is facet publishing, and that's correct. So that's how we can test that information.